YouTube is going on today, everybody. Back here with another video. And I wanted to address two things that I've seen a lot uh, since the last gameplay trailer. Um, and these two things either come from YouTube or Twitter. Um, I don't want to like single anybody out because it's not the point of this video. But when people say things on either of those sites, it, it tends to trickle down and other people tend to echo what they say. Um, whether it be just the people just generally just watching and taking in the content or people making the content. Um, and over here, you know, I, I, I don't do that. I, I never have, never will do that. Um, and these two things that have been said is kind of just like, are we watching combat sports? Like when in combat sports do these things happen? They happen in past combat sports video games, but they don't happen in real life all the time how people it seems like people want um so i figured you know I, i'd kind of address it and, and with this kind of i guess i don't want to say debunking the criticism but with this going against the criticism no one's going to say oh this is a, such a real video you're real for making this yada yada right because i only get those when i'm the one criticizing the game or saying something, I guess you could say negative, um, which it's not intended to be negative, just constructive. But I won't be getting any of those comments for this video. But let's go ahead and get into the first one. So I have no idea where people got this from. Um, actually, I, I do video games. <laughs> got previous combat sports video games, but people are trying to bring that into ESP Undisputed and the city don't do it right so in that trailer we saw what was it Carl Froch you know throw throw a lot empty his gas tank and be pretty much at zero stamina at some points right so people are taking what they know from the past games past combat sports games and applying it here right okay he has no stamina right I should be able to throw a combination a power shot and you know get him out of there right he should be knocked down Last knocked out, yada yada, right? Where in in combat sports history does one plus one equal two? You may be able to bring up examples of someone getting tired and that being the reason they get stopped in a fight. I'm also able to bring up last Friday, Shakur Stevenson versus Rob Robson Conseca. I'm not going to try to say his last name. Robinson C. We all saw it last Friday. All able to visibly see Robson slow down, move a little less, take more punches, throw less punches. Um, and Shakur, he saw that as well. Sat down on punches, started walking him down, started throwing more, started throwing harder. Still, in those instances, I know he got one early, but in those instances where he's slowing down, Shakur didn't get a knockdown. He didn't get a knockout. Right? And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, Shakur didn't have, he doesn't, he's not a power puncher, right? Well, they both fought a guy named Oscar Valdez who, you know, he has a, a knockout of the year. I don't know if he got it that year, but he has one of the best knockouts within the past five years. Robson can check out again. In that fight with Oscar, slow down, punch, stop throwing punches, stop moving, getting hit more. Even Oscar wasn't able to put him down. I don't know if he put him down at all in that fight, um, but I know he didn't get knocked out. Right, and we can move on. I think everyone's watched Triple G versus Canelo, right? We all saw Canelo tire in, in, in fight one, correct? Canelo versus Bivol. There's so many examples of someone getting tired and getting hit clean with punches and, and nothing happened. So the whole like just video game, like I get it. Some things have to be gamified, but that's not one of the things that has to be gamified. So Steel City, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. Honestly, fuck them. Don't listen to them. Next. Next. This one is, again, puzzling as well as someone who pretty much watches fights every weekend, at least. I don't know where people get off thinking, oh, 
one plus one equals two. I just landed a power punch on a guy just moving in or, or low stamina, right? This power punch should put him down, right? Or we're trading, right? My power, I land a big power punch. You should not be able to hit me back after I land this power punch. You should be staggered. You should be rocked. Something should happen here. When in reality, that doesn't happen, right? Again, Canelo Triple G, two Triple G who lands like a right hook or a right hand or something like that. And Canelo's like head and body like oh, damn near turn. But as his head's coming back, Canelo's firing off his right hand too, right? So I don't know where people think like exchanges, back and forth exchanges don't happen in combat sports. Now, if you're saying the back and forth is too frequent in the game, then yeah, I can understand where you're coming from. But to say there's no back and forth in boxing, it's just basically your turn, my turn, my turn, your turn. It's not, not true. Right? Just because someone lands a big power punch does not mean, oh, they're staggered or, or you can't punch me back. Ha, ha, ha. Like, no. <laughs> and also, there are instances where people do get stopped in their tracks from punches, right? Because again, going back, not everything is one plus one equals two in boxing, right? We've seen jabs stop people in their tracks, right? And this is my second time doing this video because I have mic issues, but I was able to find Danny Jacobs versus Triple G. Um, and Triple G, as you guys should be seeing now, is squared up throwing punches and Danny Jacobs counters him. It knocks him back. Triple G has to regain his balance, reset, and get moving forward again, right? So in that instance, while Triple G, I mean, he physically would be able to punch, but it wouldn't, you know, result to much, but he'd physically be able to punch, but it wouldn't just, it just wouldn't make any sense. So in those instances, so in instances like that, where a punch knocks someone off balance or it gets someone to reset. Yeah. Like a st that stagger effect. Yeah. It should be there. Now, if people are saying like it should be there more and I'm just misunderstanding. then Yeah, I, I, I guess. Yeah. But I, I think what they should have done is show the power modified punches a little bit more especially like the jab so we can get that effect but the exchanges that we saw in the gameplay where people saying like someone they're just eating the punches like what what else do you want <laughs> what what do you want from some of these exchanges right what do, what what else do you want from these exchanges do you want this over exaggerated uh, you know, fight night. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to like shit on fight night. I'm not on that like weirdo energy. Um, but do you want this fight night esque overreactions, over exaggerations with to their punches? I I know I don't.